Me a stick and take a stick and tomatoes. Part one, I guess. Uh, you first, you got to get yourself some steaks. So you, you need to go to the store and buy yourself some strips like this. And oak is preferable. Whatever you can get. Now, I feel that we've already entered the stage of survival with the downturn and all our jobs being shipped out of the country. Uh, people are going to have to find ways to uh, to survive. We have to survive with the also with the poison that they're selling us in the stores, the embalming, embalming all that food. It's all poison, GMO. You need to uh, start thinking about your survival now. So you're going to have, best way to do that is start growing your own garden, grow as much of your own fruits and vegetables as you can and as organically as possible. Now, as I go along, I'm going to spread that philosophy. We are now in survival mode and it's going to get worse from here on in. It ain't going to get no better. So, start developing your techniques. Here's a simple technique. You're going to stake your tomatoes, so what you have to do is you're going to have to sharpen the tip of your steak so that you can it will easily hammer into the ground. You don't want to hammer this butt end into the ground. It's going to give you a lot of trouble. It's also going to make the steak go cockeyed. So you want it sharpened so the steak will go in straight and it will hammer in easy. Get yourself a hunter's knife, hunting knife, like this baby here. Uh, this is a pretty cheap one. It's made in Pakistan. It's cheap, but it really gets the job done nice, so uh, never sharpen this since I own it. That's, the, that's pretty stupid. But like I say, now that the survival mode is coming in, we're going to break out the old sharpener and start to uh, sharpen these hunting knives I got. Alright, so, you get yourself a nice, it's a nice looking one handle though, I have to say that much. It's made pretty decent for the price I got it. I think it was only 20 bucks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, you want to cut. This is an oak steak, so it's going to give you a little bit more trouble. to get it too pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. Basically, that's all you need. This baby's going to go in the ground nice and easy. So, that's part one of steak and tomatoes. Sharpening the steak. Okay. Well, catch you later, essay.